Hi there, guys. Welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the collective. Collective my readings are timeless. So when you see them is when you want to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Collective energy is draining. And all I keep hearing is this shit is toxic as fuck. High energy day, like giving you the emotion, like I feel like I want to cry. I don't know what that energy is as soon as I started. Um, I totally hate it here. This is the vibe that I'm getting. Like, I hate it here. I hate it here. Somebody's saying they hate it here. Um, when they're saying they hate it here, they mean I hate it here on earth. I hate it here with these people. I hate it here with this situation. Somebody is saying they hate it here. And so wherever they are, they don't like it. And it's not where they want to be. So somebody saying you made them treat them. They made you made me treat you that way. You made me treat you that way. Situation. It's feeling like um, love you one minute just to hate you. That's the vibe that I'm getting. I love you, but I hate you. It's a thin line between love and hate. So whatever that energy is, it's very annoying. And it's a whole lot of wishy-washy-ass feelings and emotions. So let me get signs first. I want to see what signs we could potentially be talking about collective. Because I don't know why. Ever since I sat down here, like I just felt fucking annoyed. Like... The situation is fucking draining and annoying. And somebody, I hear somebody saying, why is it not going away? Why can't we change it? Why is this still going on? Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve zodiac signs. Right, let's see what signs we got to begin with. Uh, we got Leo, Libra out here right away. So Leo and Libra, you could be dealing with them. That could be your sign or somebody you dealing with collective. Okay, we got Gemini flipping over and Pisces. And we got a Virgo. I'll do it again, but those are the cards that we could potentially be, I mean, the people that we could be potentially dealing with right now. All right, so. Right away, transitions to the spirit realm. All right, so. Oh God, come put it back. Something about a mirror I saw. Okay, so transition into the spirit realm. Okay, somebody could have died. Somebody could be dying. Somebody could be experiencing an ending to a situation. So transition into the spirit realm because I just want to do everything. 1637 and 9. Um, somebody becoming spiritual and less religious. Hey, um... Transitions to the spirit realm. I don't know why I'm getting astral projecting, moving in and out, moving in and out of uh, dimensions. So somebody talking to a spirit or spirits talking to someone. We got, it's time for a treat and a power of three. And time for a treat. Um, somebody could be strictly... Uh, sticking to their diet and they're saying it's time for a treat or somebody could be strictly sticking to a situation and they're saying it's time to change time for you to get some type of uh rest relaxation retreat and then the power of three so that's giving me like talking to um uh, either going with people hanging out with your family friends your soul tribe or um the power of three, three witchy sisters. So there could be three people involved. A circum a situation that pertains to three people. 
but it's time for a treat transitions to the spirit realm um i don't know why but i'm hearing like god get god grants rest after turmoil after trouble so that means something coming to an end i don't know why i'm seeing tea so i don't know if this is tea or somebody is drinking tea somebody likes tea somebody could be scrying transition to tra transition to the spirit realm could be using tea leaves <sighs> okay somebody's holding on to you way too tightly collective and powerful personal growth so somebody trying to move away from a situation but then we have glamour intrigue and drama glamour somebody trying to glamour a situation somebody trying to make something look the way a different way than what it is or something that's glamorous like dressing up and you know stepping out because it did say it's time for a treat so taking some time the power of three will set us free um that's for some reason giving me in order to get yourself out of the situation you have to invoke help transitions to the spirit realm you need to invoke help to get out of this situation and there's a powerful energy shift about to happen so somebody needs to count their blessings um so something being toxic as fuck because somebody's holding on to a situation too tightly somebody's not letting something go somebody could be holding on to a person place or thing entirely too tight when it needs the situation needs situation needs what are they saying oh situation needs i don't know why i keep hearing service but that's not the word that's not what i'm that's not it so somebody there's a service and the phone ringing so could that be your telephone service or could that be a service that you're about to get or a service that needs but now i did say somebody that transitions to the spirit realm somebody dying so maybe somebody's going to somebody's funeral and that could be what that is you've been stressed out long enough you've been dealing with a death of a situation death of a person place or thing and now it's time to relax a little bit but service, something about us. Oh my God, now we got the Grim Reaper here. Somebody died or somebody's about to die. Somebody's dying or a situation's dead, but somebody's trying to hold on to it entirely too tight. So here we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chance. chances grow and transition in life. There is no second chances to this. So somebody trying to hold on too tightly. Somebody trying to re, I don't know why here, reinstate, reinvigorate, re renew. Um, a situation that is dead and I'm hearing beating a dead fucking horse there's also acts here breaking up a separation stopping the pattern silent treatment and abandonment the ending of a situation um, and I still keep hearing service so I don't know if somebody's funeral services are today today or tomorrow playing the hand that you were dealt then we have the dragonfly fly be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapting change and heal so moving on transitions to the spirit realm transitioning to the spirit realm going in and out so somebody transitioned to the spirit realm so somebody has an ancestor that just transitioned here helping them then we have soulmates, soul connections, partnerships, agreements, soul contract. I don't know why I'm still hearing this shit is fucking toxic as shit. So much stuff going on. Playing the, the deck, playing the cards that you were dealt. So hand of cards, taking a chance, taking a risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand, gambling. So something is hidden and somebody is ascending. So what your ancestors want you to know is keep a positive mindset, manifest, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. Um, but there's a situation that's over. So something about passion, passion, and I'm hearing invoke, 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 invoke passion, insane chemistry, like each, liking each other, equality and having fun. The power of three what is that about because for some reason i'm getting a relationship a poly ass relationship 
also along with that so getting people to help you getting your spirits getting your ancestors but for some reason this is also giving me so we got a group of three people either a group of sisters a group of partners or you and spirits either way something come to an end the grim reaper the axe shit is done over with and somebody holding on to a situation entirely too tight and so it's causing upstairs to get involved so let's see who we have again here so we already have the first zodiac sign that we had out on the table let's see what we got nobody wants to make their self known Right now for this shit. All right, well, let's just pull them then. Okay. We got an Aquarius out here. We got a Gemini back on the table. And now we got Libra out here. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra right now. Um, Gemini, that's two times. So we have Pisces, Virgo, and whoever else was from the beginning. I can't remember shit. But either way, you remember so or go back and replay it. Um, we got the Seven of Cups out here. Daydreaming, wishful thinking, too many options, choices or ideas, indecision, abundance, one and all, and not knowing what you want. Discernment is needed here. So the wish card, wish fulfillment. All right, let's see what else we got here. Okay, what was that? Let me see. What is that? That's death. All right, so that's the ending. It didn't come out. It was just flipped into things, so I wanted to see what it was. But that's also there in the ending. And I don't know why I'm hearing uh, still, again, an important ending for a new beginning. So something has to definitely come to an end, but it's just dragging itself out, being slowed down. All right, it did, nothing came out, but we got a queen of pentacles here. So that could be the energy that we're out here dealing with. Queen of Pentacles energy. We got the Ten of Cups coming out. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay. And that's an Emperor. All right, so we got an Emperor. Excuse me. We had a, that was a Queen of Pentacles energy. An uh, Emperor. We got Wish Fulfillment. So somebody's wishing, wishing, hoping, and praying. Ten of Cups energy. So somebody wants everything, everything, everything. And we got higher ups working on it. So I seen we had soulmate connection out here. We're going to put them cards there. And then we're going to pull some more cards because I don't know why. So somebody's old relationship is stopping their new relationship. That's basically what this boils down to. Um, if you're here about a job, so somebody's old job is stopping your new job. Somebody's old partnership is stopping their new partnership. Take it how it resonates for you. But something that was old is stopping something new from happening. So we got an emperor out here that's on stuck mode. So we got the six of swords. Six of swords. Uh, transition into the next phase, running away, get into a safer place. That is your only option. So you got to go through the storm in order to get the calmer waters. So somebody has to go through a storm before they get to their wish fulfillment. Okay. So we got an emperor and also we had a queen of cups energy out here. So we got a two of wands energy, contemplation, assessing your life's direction, moving beyond old boundaries. So again, just exactly what I said, in order for you to move into your Ten of Cups, you got to get done with what the, the, get done with the other shit first. So that's what's causing a problem. Somebody's holding on to somebody entirely too tight. And I put that card over there, not realizing that is uh, justice. So apparently things coming into balance, but I don't, I don't know why I'm hearing. Okay, so an emperor and an empress. Now, ain't that some shit? Okay, so we got an emperor and empress energy that's on a stalemate or 
stalemate yeah basically stalemate you can't move forward and tell whatever this situation is that's over and done with somebody's holding on too tightly and all i keep hearing is this shit is toxic as fuck because too many people oh let's see i don't know why it's like i love you but i hate you a thin line between love and hate so i don't know what that's about i don't know if that's the old relationship or the new relationship somebody's saying this ain't that motherfucker this is not that so whatever you thought i was i ain't whatever you thought this is it ain't okay somebody's saying what the fuck okay all this is giving you high blood pressure. So we got somebody that's getting a high blood pressure from this. Somebody saying, I understand how you feel. Um, somebody is making new investments and new businesses. And somebody or something, the situation is a big fat zero or nobody. Or somebody's calling it a big fat zero or nobody. Um, either way, we got Emperor and Empress energy out here, and it's looking like can't move forward until this shit is done and over with. Somebody's saying you're better off without them. Somebody's saying you got me fucked up. Somebody lives in a townhouse or a condominium. I don't know why, I just hear somebody keep saying, you're telling a bunch of fucking lies. Like, literally, there's a bunch of lies. Okay, look, toxic right here. I just said, situation is toxic as fuck. Somebody keeps saying that. That's all I keep hearing. This shit is fucking toxic. And not a good toxic, okay? It's the type of toxic that I hate it here. Okay? So nobody wants it. So somebody, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Somebody has to have understanding so there's clarity needed. Somebody's a business owner or a CEO. Somebody is saying good things come to those who wait. A patient seeker will be satisfied in due time. Patience is a virtue. So whatever this empress and emperor is going through, please be patient. Shit's working itself out. This situation is going to be sacred, and they're saying they'll always have your back. Somebody saying whatever it is, we can handle it better together. So uh, something about your root chakra is important. So whoever this emperor and emper empress is that's coming together, y'all can handle things better together. But this shit is toxic because somebody in this situation or some people are holding on too tightly. Um, somebody says they want to let somebody's letting it all go, and somebody saying I release what no longer serves you. Somebody saying I regret lying to you. I love you more, but I love me. Also, South Dakota and Oklahoma could be significant or important. Somebody's trying to spend all their time, all their free time with you, and they're feeling trapped wherever they are in whatever situation there is. Something about social media is important. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, Snapchat. I don't know why I'm hearing the messages are keep getting mixed up. And people think they're talking to you when they're not talking to you. And they're talking to other people. And meanwhile, social media got everything fucked up, okay? There's a Leo that could be here and involved something about new instruct new construction no new instructions so there's new instructions could be about to be given out by the higher ups because transition into the spirit realm because there's some shit that's fucked up about this whole entire situation somebody's getting a new house and somebody's standing there over it and they got nothing to say somebody wants shots or shots being thrown that could also be over the internet or somebody likes white liquor and they want to take some shots with you something about Louisiana or Alabama something somebody saying I am powerful somebody is getting a divor divorce and they are not dating so uh water signs are here cancer scorpio and pisces um there's also somebody saying i'm the best thing that's ever going to happen to you and that is fucking false so somebody lied and somebody saying you're a fucking clown and um somebody said they ain't got no time for that so collective let me see if i can get some more cards for y'all just to see if they're you know who else what other signs are here um you could be dealing with any of these signs don't necessarily have to be the sign could be you or could be somebody else okay there's a tourist here now Scorpio, which was already said. So we had all of the water signs. Pisces back out here again. So Pisces twice, Gemini twice, Virgo. I think Leo was there. Taurus, um, Aquarius. 
Y'all know all the signs, whatever was there, but again, doesn't necessarily have to be the sign. It could just resonate with you. I mean, it, the person, the person that you're dealing with, take it how it resonates because this shit is annoying. Okay, go with God.